What's up bafflers, James Wolf here. If you want to add more functionality to your wrist, it's time to get a smartwatch. Smartwatches have come a long way. In fact, I have a rather chunky one right here. However, this one should look a bit more sleek, maybe even more royal. Today I'm looking at the Kingswear KW88 Pro smartwatch. Check out the Banggood link in the description. I bought this from Banggood as I was wondering if a budget smartwatch could tick all the right boxes. Let's have a look. Eagle eyed viewers may have noticed that this packaging looks a bit thin. That's because I've opened it already because I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> uh, anyway, so forgive me for that. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Luckily the actual presentation is actually really nice. We have a smartwatch even says so on the box. Note just the barcode on the back. It's not giving a whole lot of weight from the box. It just says smartwatch. Maybe other models of smartwatch might come in this box as well. I don't really know. But what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit so you should be able to see what's going on. Can you see? Good. I like this sort of um, lever effect that they've put on the lid. It's actually cardboard, but it actually looks really legit. Let's go ahead and open the lid. And there we have it. So we have the watch right here. And we also have a little box. Is this the charging cable? It is the charging cable, I think. Yep, it's a magnetic type cable. I know, I'll just get it out, that'd be easier to show you. So, we have a little uh, connector there, which is magnetic. And yeah, we have a charging cable here, just a regular USB. Laptop, please don't turn off. That's better. We also have a screwdriver. So yeah, I don't know what we need the screwdriver for, but hopefully there's not too much assembly involved. Anyway, so we have some silicone gel, don't eat that. We also have a screen protector. Yeah, it's a plastic screen protector, but it's nice to have a screen protector. If you're wearing this on your wrist, you know it's gonna get bumps and whatnot, so it's nice to protect the screen charge with a 5 volt 1 amp charger the product is not waterproof and please turn off the product before inserting a sim card so you can actually put a sim card into the watch itself so you can use it like a phone i'm guessing it is not solely dependent on your phone it can actually just work as its own phone 5 volt 1 amp charger make sure you use that when you charge it pass quality control all that sort of stuff and then finally in the box we have a smartwatch user manual please refer to this manual before using the product so it just gives us a little run through the watch nice little diagrams so let's go ahead and look at the watch so this is the kingswear kw88 pro smartwatch let's take a look at this Not very heavy actually, like I was expecting with all the smart functionality it would be a little bit weighty. This is a bit more weighty, I know this is an older watch, but yeah you can kind of tell. This one looks more like a watch, this one kind of looks more like a phone on a strap. Nonetheless that was actually quite impressive technology at the time, I'm not going to diss it. So very nice design actually, it's all metal on the side, it feels very high quality to hold. Like. This actually feels really durable, like you want that in a smartwatch. It's also got a really nice rubber strap, which also it has breathing holes in it. So if you're wearing it and doing exercise, then your strap's not gonna get all clingy and horrible. Very nice indeed. And also on the back, you can see those little gold bits there. And that is where you connect the charger. So you just go bing and you're charging, it's really that simple. I like that, nice and simple. So, we'll go ahead and take this off. We like that bit. We've also got an additional screen protector as well. I'm guessing the screwdriver is for installing the SIM card. On the side here, you may think this is a button, but it's actually a camera. So you've got a smartwatch and you've got a nice camera on the side. Obviously it works better if you wear it on your left hand than your right hand. If you're wearing it on your right hand, it's just going to probably end up taking most of your wrist. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Nice little feedback there. Smartwatch. So this is actually an OLED display. 
So you get really good contrast as you can see from the camera. That's loud. <laughs> Android, so there you go. This actually includes Android. This is a watch, it's not just like a sort of custom OS or anything. This is actually just Android. <laughs> it's an Android phone, basically, in a watch. So it'd be interesting to see how it all works. So, like on normal Android, you've got a touch screen, and the screen is actually round. It's actually 360 degrees. If you can see that on the camera above, it's not much to give it away because there's not much on the screen at the moment. But we'll go ahead and select English, confirm. You can add all your details in, your weight, your height, walk target, all that sort of thing, male or female. And then this one you use to install the app, so you use your phone to scan this. So yeah, a very sleek design. I do like the design, put it on my wrist. Can adjust it it's got lots of different adjustments so you can wear it to your size on your wrist and it fits very comfortably indeed and like I said it's very light so you barely notice it's anything like a smartwatch as such it just feels like a normal regular watch as you could tell it does look very stylish you can also get this in different colors as well link in the description for all the different colors available Competition time! You could win yourself a Kingwear KW88 Pro smartwatch. That's right. To enter, visit techbattle.com slash win. Terms and conditions apply. Three days later. So after a few days, I've now had a bit of time to test out the watch. Here is the watch itself. Now, to get the app on your phone, it's actually really simple. Really, what that comes up is with a QR code. You just scan it with your... QR code app on your phone and you can go ahead and download it. The actual app is called We Watch 2. You can just type that into your app store if you prefer to do it that way. As you can see, the screen is actually really clear. I don't know how well it's coming over camera, but to, in real life, it's actually really clear. I was actually surprised. I thought it might be a little bit pixelated, but it actually looks really nice. It's also an AMOLED display, meaning that if you go onto a menu, for example, if you swipe right, you can see the background is completely unlit, which makes the contrast a lot better. With contrast, you definitely need that when you're outside. So when you're outside, the screen isn't massively bright. So as you can see, the watch comes pre-installed with this nice analog watch face, and it contains a night and day. The day is there, and here is the, I don't know what that is, is that temperature or something? And then down here you've got the step counter. However, if you don't like this watch face, doesn't matter. All you have to do is hold down the screen and you get all of these different watch faces. Like, look how much there is. There's a lot, I know you can't see them all because I'm scrolling past too quickly. Some of them are better than others. That, for example, questionable. But that one looks really cool. So, and that one also looks really cool as well. But you can also get a few additional watch faces on the We Watch 2 app. So if you get bored of all of these watch faces, you've got an option there. This is a... <laughs> so this is a more digital interface. So you've got a digital clock, you've got your heartbeat, and you've also got your step counter there in August 08. It also has a second going around here. I won't go through every single one of these because it's going to take forever. But as you can see, they do look really nice. So as you can see, the display is actually 360 degrees. There's no cutouts at the bottom. There's no sort of funny areas. It's actually a completely circular display. And that looks really cool. It actually looks more like a watch rather than a smartwatch. So it does, from a distance, just look like you're wearing a normal watch. Once you've chosen your watch face, I actually quite like the one that comes with, just that one. I think that's my favorite. But once you've chosen that, you've got a few gestures to access the other controls. So if you swipe up, you get Bluetooth and SIM card notification. I haven't got a SIM card installed on my watch because it can actually act as a phone. Also, if you swipe right, you've got all your controls. You've got silent mode, which is really recommended. I recommend you turn it on straight away because it makes such loud noises when you turn it on and off. Just unnecessary, so I'll just put it on silent. This is display brightness. So that's minimum halfway that actually looks probably best on the camera and then 
maximum. You also have that, which is hand bright screen. Aeroplane mode, what's that one? That's a SIM card or something. GPS, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I've got this set up on Wi-Fi. Swipe right, don't know what that is. Is that clean up or something? Yep, clean finish. <laughs> this is for music. At the moment, it's not really showing anything because I haven't got any music pre-installed on it, but I'll show you something really cool in a minute to do with music. And then we've got the weather. So you can see the cloudy day, 24 degrees Celsius, all that kind of stuff. So when you just swipe back down to exit that, then when you're on the clock, swipe down to access your health and fitness. So as you can see here, it comes up with a graph of all my steps for the last week. Obviously it hasn't been a complete week yet. You may have noticed the past Wednesday and Thursday have been a bit low. This is because I made the error of manually setting the time, but I accidentally left the time zone on China, which meant it kept on automatically setting it back to Chinese time. You can set it to London time and I've done that. It was just my error, there's nothing wrong with the watch. But that meant that it kept on resetting the steps, such as today, I've only done 429 steps and it was a lot more than that earlier, it was about a thousand and, no, two thousand and something. So you got the graph of your last week's progress, you can compare your different days, you've got your average steps at the top, your total steps, and then the distance. So if you swipe right, you've got the steps, the kilometers, and then the calories. As you can see, it provides a nice little sort of animation of your progress. Because when you set up the watch, you can set up your progress as well as your weight and your height. You can set up, I've got it set to 8,000 targets. So when it reaches 8,000, I haven't reached 8,000 yet, but when it does happen, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what happens. Maybe it says, congratulations. So yes, now we're back onto the watch face. So you go and swipe left, it goes to your notifications. At the moment, I've got any notifications. I don't know why I haven't got any notifications. If you swipe right, you've got all of your apps. Now this is one way you can access the app. It's quite cool, as you can see, it's quite, what? As you can see, it's quite fluid. One thing you can do is if you go into settings, if you don't like this interface, you can go into settings, go onto app list style, and then go to round. The reason why I don't like this one so much is because it looks really cool. I mean, I'll give it that, it looks really cool, but because they've put custom icons for all of the standard Android apps, it's hard to identify what things are. <laughs> so for me, I prefer the other interface. When you get onto your normal apps, they're a lot more easier to identify. Unless you know the icons off by heart, it can be a little bit difficult to navigate. But I'm trying to find the settings icon. Uh, settings, settings, settings. A few minutes later. Yes, it's that. So a lot of the app icons don't make any sense. Like that, the one on the left there, that's settings. I don't even know what that is, but okay, let's set it back to arc. I like that one a lot better. It's a lot easier to identify things. So by default, you get Play Store pre-installed. You've got a full access to the Google Play Store, which is actually really cool. You can even go on to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at TechBaffle. So as you can see, you've got the full version of Instagram. One thing you may have noticed is some of the buttons are missing, which is no good, but don't worry. What you have to do is hold down the button on the side and it actually gives you some helpful options. So you've got power off, reboot, power save, which is good if you're on low battery, recent tasks, which brings up all of your recent apps. You can swipe away when you're not using them anymore. And then you've got this little circle thing at the top. What that does is turns apps from circle to square. So you can just tap that and it goes from one to the other. And then when you go back to Instagram, you can access the full version of Instagram because the buttons are all now here now because the app has now turned as a square inside the circular display so you can now access it all the normal buttons so you can go ahead 
and upload your picture as you would. One thing I found is I actually downloaded an app to do with the touchscreen because I thought it was a problem with a touchscreen but I think it's maybe a little glitch is that certain apps don't want to respond like if I'm trying to press video it just doesn't want to press or gallery or anything that's remotely in the corner anything in the center as you can see I've just pressed that squarey thing works fine so yeah Instagram is all right for browsing it doesn't really work that well for uploading stuff you can also access Twitter as you can see it's now opened in this square format but Twitter seems to work quite nicely it's a little bit laggy no no it's working right now Let's see if we can post a tweet can we post a tweet yes so what I'm going to tweet is I'm sending you can actually type in this by the way not massively well but you can type on it I'm sending this thank goodness for auto correct from my king where king where kw88 pro smart watch tweet and we've sent the tweet let's see if it's actually sent let's go on to tech baffle at tech baffle of course and as you can see the tweet has been sent so yeah we sent that tweet from the watch also in the intro I completely messed up the intro because I god damn it laptop why do you keep on turning off every time I look at the screen it's off like I know Norton go away as well okay be right back I'm just going to check change the battery settings on my laptop for some reason it's got like a five second screen save on it so next let's go on to the camera where's the camera it does actually have a camera on this watch the camera is located there you see my finger so it, if when you're taking a picture you kind of have to position your arm a little or your hand a little bit lower down but then you can take a picture so as you can see we've got the camera interface here when you're taking a photo make sure your hand is out the way unlike what i'm doing at the moment but i'll show you a few pictures of what i've already taken here's what i've taken earlier so this is oscar this was taken with the watch camera as you can see the picture is a little bit washed out it looks a little better in real life than it does on the camera the camera is not liking that photo at all it kind of looks purple <laughs> i might have to edit in the actual photo yeah i took quite a few pictures of oscar when i can get him to sit still that is and yeah as you can see a lot of the pictures work well you can even take a selfie on this watch <laughs> which is pretty cool Videos are a bit strange. For some reason, it takes them um, that way. So you, to watch them back, you kind of have to have your arm like this. But as you can see, the video actually works really well. The camera is two megapixels, and if you shoot video, the video is 720p, which is not bad, to be perfectly honest. I wasn't really expecting the camera to be massively high quality. What you do have to remember is that it's fixed focus, so anything close up doesn't really focus well, but anything maybe like a metre or so away will focus fine. You have to take it more of a novelty, you're not going to use it seriously as a camera, it's, it's just a bit of fun to be perfectly honest. And to be honest, selfies work quite well, I mean I was surprised how well that actually came out. <laughs> just quite a some pictures, that was some more selfies. These are the things that my dog keeps on chasing. They've got this wild flower garden and all the thistles have turned into seeds and he just loves chasing them. Belsky, what are you doing? All the fluffy things seem to be appearing from the thistles. Oscar is absolutely loving chasing them. <laughs> like... You can see he's holding a tennis ball, but we're not playing that at the moment. He's just amusing himself, basically. So yeah, it's a very nice thing to have. As I know, a lot of smartwatches don't have cameras. I mean, there's not much room inside the watch really to put a camera in, so it's surprising how it's even got one. Now, next, 
let's go on to so what you can do just like your phone you can go on to Google Photos I've still got it in square mode as you can see I've run out of space but luckily you can also download pCloud and then you've got loads of space as you can see I actually put my thumbnails on pCloud as you can see a great thumbnail that is I know so if like me you run out of space on Google Photos go and visit the link in the description to get pCloud but as you can see it actually works very well on this very small display that was from the hose video next this is quite exciting games have you ever wanted to play games on your watch well now you can so let's start off with on pipe i've actually never played this game before Whee. so this is like blue sweet corn well it was yellow to begin with but yeah you basically have to <laughs> remove all the sweet corn level five cleared as you can see that works really well one thing that doesn't seem to work so well is advertisements. When you get like a advertisement, you can't close it. Again, it's a similar reason to the Instagram. Any little buttons in the corner doesn't seem to work very well. You know the advertisements on apps are like have the smallest possible X you can click. One thing I would recommend is going to recent task and make sure you do clear all your previous apps, otherwise your battery isn't gonna last very long. The battery life isn't particularly great. I know it's a really powerful watch and you can do loads of different things on it. But the battery life, if you're not careful, it won't even last half a day. So you need to sort of make sure that you close all apps you're not using. And also, if you hold down the button on the side, you can put it into power save mode. So you can preserve your battery life. It just gives you a basic clock, which works perfectly nicely. So next game, let's play Jelly Shift. This is another one I haven't played before. I'm really not up to date on Android games at the moment. As you can see, some, some things look a bit strange on it. But once you get into the game, it should work. Jelly shift, let's go. So swipe down. Hooray! We need to keep it swiped down to go over the little bridge things. And then. No, swipe up. No, no, oh no! Ah! <laughs> but yeah, you can actually play games on your watch, which is crazy. Let's try. Fun car race. So it does actually have a speaker in it, and to be fair, the speaker doesn't actually sound too bad. Go to volume. It actually sounds surprisingly good. Choose your ride. That one will do. Circuit two, please. Bing, bing, bing. Collected. Out the way. <laughs> Health pack collected. It's actually more fun to crash into the cars than it is to avoid them. As you go flying. Fuel pack collected. Bang! As I was mentioning before, you can actually use Spotify. So this actually comes really useful if you want to use any earphones. So I'll play a bit of Maya Isaac. I've actually played a my eyes up before in my sound test videos. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. So as you can tell the speaker's very loud. You can see that a little bit better. I've reduced the screen brightness a bit. <laughs> I know it's especially for the album artwork it was not showing it at all. But as you can tell you can actually use Spotify really well on a watch which is handy if you, handy if you want to go running which I've been trying to do recently. So what you can do you can go and hook up your earphones and it connects to Bluetooth as well. You can listen to music on wireless earphones using your watch. It's really easy actually. Do, 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 do. So that's actually really cool how you can listen to music on your watch and not need to carry your phone around. Really handy if you want to go running. Also if you want to find out more about those earphones check out 
my recent videos. I think that's the last one I uploaded. So, focus please. So on this screen brightness, you might be able to see this screen a little bit more. This is on 50%. So to charge your watch, you get a magnetic cable. So all you have to do is hook up to that. So as soon as you connect it up, it will say charger connected. And it's as simple as that. One thing I would say, I wish the magnet was a little bit more stronger. It does disconnect if you're not careful, but for the most part, it works really well. Also good to not have a micro USB or something, because otherwise it's going to gather dirt in the ports and lit in water and stuff. It's worth noting this isn't waterproof. So you've got an app on your phone which communicates with the watch. It's called We Watch 2. So the app shows you a few interesting details from the watch, including your steps, your beat per minute. But in all honesty, it's all right. I mean, it kind of does what you're supposed to, it's supposed to do, but it's not particularly brilliant. You can't get extra dolls in it. For some reason, it's showing Christmas dolls. The top camera has died, so I'll just show you the app on the front camera here. One thing you can do which is pretty cool is heart rate. So as you can see on the app it does show you the heart rate. So what it does, it checks your heart rate on the watch. You can see there's a green light there and it basically scans your pulse or something. It's all very clever. Quite a good watch skin is the digital one that I showed you before and that shows you the heart rate on there as well if you're interested. Quality wise, it's fairly nice. It's got a nice rubber strap. It's nice and comfortable. It actually gives you two different things so you can keep the strap nice and under control. It's not gonna flap around all over the place. Two cool features I forgot to mention. Yes, you can download Chrome and browse through web pages. For reading, square mode is best. You can even watch YouTube videos. James Woodruff here. If you love your music, it's time to go wireless. The tiny screwdriver is for an even more tiny screw. Make sure you don't lose it. Under the door is a nano SIM card tray. No micro SD card slot I'm afraid, but it does have 16 gigs internal storage. Then you can call, text and use data. For me, I couldn't get my three SIM card working. Please check your SIM works with these networks. If you're unsure, ask your provider. I got a girl that compliments my fly And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride I finally got somebody I can call my My one time for the one time I got a girl that compliments my fly And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride I finally got somebody I can call my My one time for the one time so the Kingwear K88 Pro is a really nice smartwatch, especially for the price. It's a lot cheaper than some more expensive rivals, yet offers a load of features. It includes the full version of Android, so you get all the app functionality. Some apps work better than others because of the display. The app works relatively well. I wish they could update this interface. It's not a brilliant interface. One thing that would make it a step ahead if it was Google Web, but considering it's running a phone operating system, it works really well and it works really nicely and fluidly. Thanks for watching. Check out the Banggood link in the description. If you're new around here, hit subscribe and ding the bell icon to never miss out on another video. A true bafflet isn't complete without some sweet merch from techbaffle.com slash shop. That's all for now. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, let me know down below. Until next time, follow me at TechBaffle and stay curious at techbaffle.com.